Right, how are we doing boys? Now, today, I wanna to make a quick video. I get asked this question quite a lot, and what it is, is basically people asking me, if you got the Corsa again, what would the, um, what would the first things you do to the car be to make it look a little, little bit better, make it stand out a bit? So what I wanna do, I wanna go over everything I'd do um, if I've just got this car. So yeah, enjoy the video. All right then, so, first thing I'd do, 100%, and I've done this with every single car I've owned, set of wind deflectors. You cannot go wrong with wind deflectors for two reasons. One, when you're doing motorway miles, it makes the car a lot more quiet on the inside and you can have the window down just a little bit. And when you leave the car overnight, you can leave your window open a tiny little bit. Don't know if you can see that. And it just lets the car air out overnight. And I think they just look a little bit sportier as well. Okay, so next thing I'd definitely go for is the mud flaps. Now these make the car look a lot lower. And I know this might sound stupid, but make it look a lot lower, make it look a bit more aggressive from behind. And um, they're quite easy to fit. I know I, had the, I know I had a bit of trouble fitting them, but if you can get your back wheel off, they're really easy to fit and they're really cheap. Okay, so next thing will have to be eyelids from the front of the car without these eyelids it doesn't look too aggressive but once you put them on sorry if there's a bit of wind noise in this video but once you put them on it just makes the just makes the car look a lot more mean coming down the road then another thing i'd do i'd definitely upgrade your bulbs now i know i've done a video recently where i put the um, rainbow bulbs in but they didn't really light up the road too well so what i've done I've gone and put some ultra white bulbs in these. As you can see, they've got like a little blue tint to them, 100% road legal. And um, yeah, they light up the road really well. So I definitely recommend upgrading all your bulbs. I've done my, um, my DRLs as well. But yeah, definitely upgrade your bulbs. It makes the car look a lot more modern as well, instead of having that horrible um, orange tint to the lights. So I definitely recommend upgrading your bulbs. Now, I wasn't going to throw this in the video, but for the people that like this look, it is for some, it isn't for others, but tinting your rear lights, I love it. I've done it to pretty much every car I've owned so far. Actually, yeah, I have done it to every car I've owned. Just makes the car look a lot more aggressive. And then another thing I would definitely do is de-chrome the car, just completely de-chrome it. I've done the wheels, I've done the fog light surrounds, and I've done my grill. That's another thing I definitely recommend doing. But like I said, you boys might have different plans for your car, but this is just my opinion. I like the, um, the blackout look, so yeah. Now last but not least boys, jumping into the interior, because this a lot of people do forget about the interior. Now this is where you're going to be spending most of the time. You don't actually look what your car, you don't actually see what your car looks like from the outside. So what I definitely recommend doing is just doing a bit of decorating on the inside. Like I've got these these um, little accessories made by um, by R7NO. Lucky mummies then. I definitely recommend doing your um, just de the inside as well. I've put mine to red, but yours yours can go whatever colour, obviously, to your liking. But yeah, it just gives the um, just gives the interior a lot more homely kind of feel. It makes it feel like your own. Obviously, I've put my stickers on it as well, but yeah, it's just another idea. And then last but not least, I'd get yourself the uh, neons for your car. They're really easy to install. I've just cable tied mine up there. And yeah, you get this little remote with them. You can turn it to any colour you want. As you can see, orange, green, and you can even have it on multicoloured so it just like gives it a bit of a disco. But I definitely recommend doing that. Yeah, now I know I've done a, a video on first mods to do for your Corsa, which is kind of similar to this, but that was that's quite an old video now. And I have had this question asked quite a lot recently. Um, and pretty much people just asking what would you do what what would you recommend doing 
I've just got myself a Corsa or I'm just looking at a Corsa. I want to make it a bit different. So yeah, I thought I'd make this video. I know it's not a really long one, but I have got some videos planned for this week. Do not worry, boys. And yeah, I thought this video might help you. So when anyone does ask this question, I'll just link them this video. And yeah, that's going to do it for the video, boys. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.